Bridge. Social norms, a person should not drink alone after 10 p.m. Unless they have a good excuse. Mm. What's yours? Gosh, don't have one. <laughs> I do. My youngest left for college this morning. Marie. One day she's splashing around a wading pool in diapers. Then she's packing up a Volvo and driving to California. I just hope she knows what she's getting into. Don't tell me. Pre-med? Bingo! <laughs> hey! How are you? Good to see you. Good to meet some friends of mine. Alex, Mona, the Wooch, <laughs> Susan, Johnny. Hi. Let's get you something to drink. Come on. Back here. Bar's back here. Come on. Hey, this is Marjorie. Why didn't you mention it was today? We would have had a cake for you or something. Mm, it's just time passing. I hate making a big deal out of it. You keep a lot to yourself. Nothing wrong with it. But I've sometimes wondered what else you have in your life besides work. Family, boyfriend. Oh, I did. Once. <laughs> his name was Morgan. Morgan? Mm -hmm. Morgan. That's a sexy name. <laughs> This is Alex and Mona. This guy's gonna help us find our lake house. Oh. Right? You haven't had shake. Anyway, well, I ended it. And I'm happy now, and it was the right thing to do. So, who is it you write to? I couldn't help. Every time you get a break at the hospital, you're writing something. There is someone. It's kind of a long-distance relationship. How did you meet? <laughs> Haven't. What? <laughs> no. The story of my life. You're kidding. I keep everything at a distance. Everyone. The man who was standing right in front of me, the one that wanted to marry me, him I push away, I run from him. In the meantime, the... One man I can never meet. Him, I would like to give my whole heart to. He must write one hell of a letter. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's safe. Christ, he's in prison, isn't he? No. You're one of those women, aren't you? No, no he's just a guy who lives on a lake. He's an architect. 